All right, what's going on guys? Uh, another a a video here. So um, today what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, show you guys some of the things that I've been doing to keep busy through this turmoil uh, that the world is going through right now. So we've kind of been hunkered down indoors. Uh, we've been doing stuff around the house. So I managed to pick up some Ikea purchases and I also picked up some Lego stuff and some puzzle stuff uh, before Kind of everything ramped up here so uh got lucky with that so i've had a bunch of stuff to keep myself busy with so let's get into showing you some of the things that i got all right so one of the things i ended up picking up uh with my lego kind of getting out of control i needed a place to put it all so i went to ikea and uh picked up these shelves now, I know they're not closed in, and they're probably going to get dusty and require some maintenance, but hey, this is what I ended up picking up. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was, ended up cleaning stuff up, it gave me some spots to put uh, some of the bigger stuff, some of the custom stands that I made. And the entire 20th anniversary collection, some unopened boxes down there, a bunch of minifigures down there. So, I put these together and set that all up that kept me busy for a little while so another thing that getting the shelves did was it allowed me to kind of space everything else out that i have which was nice air in a collection always kind of makes it look a little bit better in my opinion so i managed just to kind of spread everything out a little bit and so another thing that we've done to kind of keep busy uh i picked up the star wars puzzle which i thought was really cool and if you go around you can see that there's a new hope and it goes into empire strikes back into return of the jedi up top there and then phantom menace attack of the clones and revenge of the sith down and around there with uh bunch of the iconic characters in the middle and the Millennium Falcon and the Death Star so got this together I've actually put a coat of puzzle glue on this so I'm going to throw it in a frame and hang it up down here should be fun so yeah um another thing that I did was I got a lego order my very very first lego order that I ever made uh, through lego.com uh, that arrived so what I did was I saved that and I uh, thought I'd open that with you guys and show you guys what I ended up picking up uh, for lego.com my very first lego website order in all its glory so let's uh let's get into it and see let's see what we got So this is something that I've wanted, but I didn't really want to um, pay what they wanted for it. Let's see. Woo! So exciting. So first thing, let's see if I can do this in a revealing fashion. First thing is. Yes. I got a another 40th anniversary train promo set. Uh, that's my second one if you noticed on my shelf. There was another one. So this is another one. This is uh valued at $26.99. So it almost a $30 value. Uh, which can't go wrong throwing a $26.99 set in there for getting a set that you probably wanted anyway. So this helped with my decision because it basically made it more value for the money I was spending. So what else do we got? Some protective wrap. Oh, so we got a little packing slip here, which, uh, Probably has all my information on it, so won't show you that. And we got a 
Lego Dots mini picture frame. And we got this for free as well, like a poly bag. It's worth $5. It's 85 pieces. And to promote the new Lego Dot set, so kind of a neat little throw in. I think I'll end up giving this to my daughter. Uh, she'll get a kick out of doing this and changing it around and making different designs and and making it different all the time. So that was really neat. Also added to the value for the money. And if you can't already tell, the last thing is get rid of that. The Sith Tie Fighter. So I a set that I wanted for a little while here, um, but didn't get because I believe it's vastly overpriced, uh, in my opinion. Just looking at what you get for the model and the piece count, uh, I know that can't always be taken into consideration, but the piece count is quite low for a set that retails for $109.99 here in Canada, which is astronomical. So... Uh, I wanted this set for two reasons. One, it's pretty cool. I like the fact that it comes that it comes with a stand here. Uh, I'm really big with the stands. I think they add a lot to the display features of it. And the third and final thing is this minifigure, which is which is a Knight of Ren. Uh, is exclusive to this set. So if you want all of the Knights of Ren that they're putting out, you pretty much have to get this set. Uh, another cool thing is LEGO has just announced their helmets, uh, over 18, uh, 18 plus helmets that are being released here in April. And one of them is the uh, TIE Fighter helmet. So that's pretty cool. You get a TIE Fighter pilot in there. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, this is everything that I got from lego.com. It was a pretty good haul for just paying for the price of the TIE Fighter there. So, couldn't go wrong. If you need to get a set that's overpriced, find a way to get more value for your money. That's what I say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing together because I've been excited to put it together. Uh, so I'll show you guys that and then we'll take a look at it when it's all done. Uh, the train set I'm probably just going to throw up onto the uh, shelf up there with the other one for now and the dot set I'm probably going to give that to my daughter uh, let her have some fun with that because they really don't have much interest in that one so let's get to the build
All right, guys, that was the video for today. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. A little bit of a different video, uh, capturing my first Lego order and uh, showing you guys kind of what I've been into for the last little bit. Um, so what I've been thinking about doing is I'm gonna do a giveaway and the giveaway is gonna happen as soon as the channel hits 100 subscribers. So what I'm gonna do is take a random person from the first 100 subscribers to the channel and I'm gonna be sending them a, a bit of a prize. And I think what I'll do is I will continue that tradition as the channel grows. So we'll pick some more milestones along the way. And uh, for now, let's start with 100. So if you enjoyed the video today, please, please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see as a prize for the giveaway. Um, somewhere in the $25 to $35 range to start and we'll go from there. Uh, so please, everybody stay safe, keep yourselves entertained, uh, stay busy, do some hobbies, spend some time with the family, and, and just make sure to wash your hands. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been another A&A &A video. We'll catch you on the next one.